Well guys, I have a little project here. And the other day I was uh, working uh, around this laptop and there was a mouse on here. And I didn't really notice it and it, and it was closed like this. And I had walked over and I had accidentally bumped this. And I heard a, a little tiny snap. I got a little concerned, uh, rightly so, and then I opened it up and uh, hit the space bar and sure enough, uh, it was broken right here. It shattered all over. The screen from here over was working but it had cracks in it and this side was just not working. It was just white. So uh, for you guys that like to put things on your laptop, uh, probably not a good idea. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this off and uh, then we're going to go ahead and order it. First thing you need to do is start over here in this corner and you're going to split this right here. Uh, you can use a guitar pick, a heavy like bass pick or heavy pick and just break it open right here. There's no tape or anything on this particular laptop and I'll show you what the number is. Let me get the uh, tripod out for you. Right, to get into this, uh, you can either use a heavy guitar pick or you can buy one of those uh, uh, laptop screen removers for like Apple or something. Just stick it in there and then uh, just start pushing it down like this. Like I said, there's no tape in there. Sorry about that. And we're going to go all the way around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back the laptop or the screen off here so you can see it. Okay, I have. Put it up here so you can see that so just uh, get your little heavy duty bass guitar pick and stick it in here and just start going this way try to hold it a little bit towards you when you do it just come down here kind of twist it a little bit when you get down towards the bottom you might have to put just a little bit more pressure and then let's back this over here, go on this side, there we go. Get your hand in here. There we go. And uh, push the screen back. And you may have to pull it a little bit towards you. There we go. And lift this out. There we go, just like that. There's no tape, there's nothing on it. Just, it's that simple. All right, then what you need to do is you need to remove four screws. These two here and these two here. Okay, remove this one on the bottom. If it drops down below, down here, you'll be able to just lift the laptop off and get to it. Let's do this one over here. There we go. Do the two on top. All right, now the screen just falls forward like this. Move this out of the way. Bring it over here. And if you're not sure which one to order, then you can go look for this number right here in the corner. And it's upside down. I'll put a picture in there and flip it over for you. But this one is LP. 173WF4. Uh, the last four alphanumeric doesn't always matter. So if you can find one with that, great. If not, then just go by these right here. The other important thing you need to notice is this connector right down here. How many pins it is. Just notice the type. Also notice the connections. Let me back out here. For choosing your screen make sure that your type only has this or whatever type that has like if it's a, a cfl which basically means that it has like a uh, little tiny fluorescent light tubes in it uh, you want to get one that has the same connections on it since mine only has this connection this is the only connection i'm going to be looking for uh, i count the pins and then look in the item description make sure that this number matches and make sure the the pins match also the orientation 
of where this connector is. Some of them will be here, some of them may be over here. This number right here should always equate to the same location. But when you're on the internet and you're looking up a laptop replacement screen, sometimes the sellers get that wrong. So even if the number is correct in uh, online, always check the physical orientation of of where your screen connector is and the number of pins so I, i'd go ahead and count them i do it all this is not my first rodeo on replacing laptop screens so that's why i'm letting you know first time i did it i made that error i didn't check to make sure that it was uh wasn't a a cfl and i ended up ordering an led backlight instead of a cfl which is fluorescent light bulb also, I didn't get the connector in the right side. It was over on this side instead of this side the first time I did my, uh, a laptop screen replacement. So I made a boo-boo. I had to eat like back then. It was, oh, gee, seven years ago or something. I had to go ahead and eat the $60 or whatever it was for the screen. These run about $100 now, somewhere in there. Uh, you can get a cheaper one, better one. Just look for a seller that's got a good feedback before you go buy it. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this apart. And then when we get our replacement screen, we'll just drop it in there. Okay, I've got my new replacement screen in. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this off of here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you guys and uh, readjust it here. There we go. Just so you got a better view. All right, so... You want to go ahead and you want to lift this up right here just like that and then some of them they'll have like a little brown piece here you can flip that up and it will unlock this one doesn't have it so let me zoom out slightly here we go now you can grab the connector on both sides here and just use your thumb and wiggle it thumbs and wiggle it back and forth push this back here there we go and then it comes off so let me zoom out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the old screen, set it out of the way. Set your screen off to the side. Get your new screen. And here's your thing here. And then check your numbers right here to make sure they're the same numbers. It won't be the exact screen unless you get one from the exact same uh, manufacturer. Okay, so let's get this over here. And I'm going to set this down here. We're going to zoom in. All right. Now we're going to grab the connector. I guess we're going to have to slide this over a little bit. Here we go. Okay, you're going to lift up on this tape here. Let me move this over here a little bit. Get a little bit better view. There you go. I'm going to lift up on this tape right here. And then we're going to slide it in. Just like that. Until it locks in. And then just make sure the seam is the same all the way across. And it's locked in it is. Then you're going to take your tape and you're going to push it back down. Just like that. Take a good look in here, make sure that the it stayed, that the gap stayed the same, and it did. If you have one that has like a little bail wire or a clip, make sure the clip is down. Uh, this particular model and this particular screen doesn't have one, so you don't have to worry about that with this uh, particular laptop. So let's go ahead and let's zoom back out. And now we got our screen on there. All right, we're up on the tripod. The holes we're going to be using are this one, this one, this one, and this one here. So go ahead and pick up your screen. Again, don't scratch your thing. So I like to put these on here like this. I tried to do it the, the way most people would, but wasn't working so stick it in the hole and then hold it with your your thumbnail like that there you go and get your screwdriver and screw it in and there's even a like a little guide tab hole right here right there 
Stick it in the hole. Hold it with your tongue, your thumbnail. There you go. And you got a little guide tab right there again. And same thing on this side. All right. Now, before you put your bezel on, uh, just check the uh, check them. Make sure they're all in and snugged up. Okay. The only thing left is turn it on. There you go. There we go. That's just the screen rate you see in the camera. That so don't worry about that. Or the refresh rate. Okay, so pull it back, lean it back like this. You gotta put these little these little edges in here, like that. Snap them in. All right, just snap them in like that. Walk it all the way around. bottom and then right here don't press too hard you don't want to break it but just make sure it's snapped in should be tight all the way across there's a little spot right here so I'm going to reach around the back and I'm going to press a little bit and what I like about this Acer right here is that there's no tape in the back for you to mess with none of those tar strips to pull up or those adhesive strips it's just pull the bezel off pull the four screws pull the connector Check the number, order the the, the correct uh, replacement screen, plug in the new one, put the four screws in, and put the bezel back on, and you're done. It's it's probably the easiest screen I've ever changed on any laptop. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something and that uh, uh, everything will be fine on your laptop. God bless you all, and Keith Nunyao.